So this question has a lot of words. Um, I may consider using a strategy I call translate word problem. And really, it's something that I always am using, but I'm going to highlight it here uh, just to make sure you understand that when you see a longer question on the GRE, it's good to read it one sentence at a time, making sure you understood what the sentence meant that you read, maybe translating it into a mathematical form or drawing a picture um, prior to moving on to the next sentence. So let's do that here. So the first sentence says a developer has land that has X feet of lake frontage. Okay, cool. So I'm going to just write down X equals total lake frontage. The next sentence, the land is to be subdivided into lots, each of which is to have either 80 feet or 100 feet of lake frontage. So a lot, which I'll call capital L for my variable, we don't know how many lots there are, but we do know that there's choices. You can either be 80 or 100 feet of lake frontage. The next sentence says, if one ninth of the lots are to have 80 feet of lake frontage, each and the 40, I'm sorry, and the remaining 40 lots are to have 100 feet of frontage each. What is the value of X? Okay, so in essence, this sentence is giving us a mathematical equation, right? One ninth of the lots, of always means multiply. The lots, do we know how many lots we have? No, we don't. So just one ninth of L plus, so that, so that represents the 80 feet lots, right? So these are the 80 feet lots. How many 100 foot lots do we have? 40, right? So the question tells us. So the 80 feet lots, which is 1 ninth of L, plus the 100 feet lots, which is 40, is equal to the total number of all the lots, L, right? So we knew that from the beginning. We wrote that down. Capital L represents the total number of all the lots. So let's do some math now. When I subtract 1 ninth L from both sides of this equation, I get 40 is equal to, now L is the same as 1L, since I have a fraction, I can treat it as a 9 over 9. So 9 over 9L minus 1 over 9L is 8 over 9L. I want to isolate L, so I want to figure out how many lots do I have. So multiplying by the reciprocal of 8 ninths, which is 9 eighths. Doing that allows me to cancel out the 9 here and the 8 there. So I isolate my L. I can figure out how many lots I have. And then simplifying 9 eighths times 40, I get 8 goes into 8 once, 8 goes into 45 times, so I get 9 times 5 is 45. So I get 45 equals L. So I know that I have 45 lots. Okay, so out of those 45 lots, I know, because the question told me, that 40 of them, 40 lots, have 100 feet of frontage. So how many total feet is that, right? I have 40 lots that have 100 feet of frontage each. So that will be a total of 40 times 100, which is 4,000. So I get 4,000 feet of lake frontage from those 40 lots. Now, one ninth of the 45 lots, well, that's five, right? 40 plus five is 45. So five of the lots have 80 feet. So what's the total amount of lake frontage represented by those five lots? It'll be 5 times 80, which is 400. So all together, right, I have 4,400 feet of lake frontage. And therefore, that's what my x value is, right? Because x represents all of the lake frontage, the feet of lake frontage. So our answer here is 4,400.